Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and I hope that you are enjoying a lovely spring. I hope that wherever you are the weather is beautiful and that the sun is shining and you're seeing more flowers. But wherever you are, I know that everyone has not only a favorite season but also sort of a favorite locale. Like some people really love the beach and some people really love the mountains and some people love a beautiful desert with the crazy sunsets. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite sort of landscape is. If you're doing a little getaway or where you like to live or where you imagine yourself living one day. That said, I know a lot of people have dreams of living near the coast, of being by a beach, and many of us are, myself included. I'm very lucky to live very close to the ocean. I think as someone who grew up in Hawaii, I will always want to live somewhere nearby the ocean where I know that I can get to it if I need to, if I need that little dose of salty goodness, but a lot of us have to live vicariously no matter what sort of climate or season we have as a favorite. And one of the ways you can do that if you are one of those coastal kind of people or coastal kind of mind, uh, this is the box for you. It is the Ohana Beach Box and it is so delightful. Now this is actually the April box. She's a little bit behind. I'd say like about a month behind, but the goodies inside are always beachy and fun and delightful. There's always some Alani Makana jewelry inside as well as a beachy theme. So the details are basically it is $50 per month plus $5.95 in shipping and I do have a code for you. It is simply Hi Noel that'll save you 10% not only on subscriptions but also in the entire Lani Makana shop. She also has a t-shirt subscription which has some little extras in it like stickers and other fun things. That is $30 per month plus $4.95 in shipping and you can do a combo where you can combine those two so that basically you only pay $20 uh, for the add-on of the t-shirt right and then you also save in the shipping so that is definitely an option if you're a t-shirt kind of gal. I'm not really a t-shirt kind of gal, but I do love this box. So let's go ahead and get into it. This was sent to me for review. I'm always happy to receive this box. And inside we have just some of that good salty ocean. So there we can see it's kind of churning. Uh, it doesn't look like it has a right side up, but there's always kind of a fun postcard image. And on the back, she just tells us about the theme. The theme this time around is deep blue sea. Love that and it tells us the items that are inside and it also gives us a sneak peek for the next curation, which would actually be for this month, for May, and it is tropical vacation. So if you are going on a tropical vacation at all this year, let me know in the comments below. I know a lot of people like to take their tropical vacations in sort of the off season, right? When it gets cold and the snow starts to fall wherever you happen to live, if the snow does fall, that's when people like to go to those warmer, sunnier climes to get away from it all. But I like a tropical vacation anytime. Uh, generally, I would rather be a little hot and have to wear some easy breezy clothes than have to bundle up, but really I just love to travel, so I will go to any climate that calls. All right, so inside we do have some cute stickers. These are probably stickers that would also be in the Salty Teas Club. So it says, let the sea set you free, and it's got a little honu there, a little turtle. Let me see if I can make you see that turtle a little bit more. And then speaking of a little turtle, here is a nice little turtle. Very cute for your water bottles, right? If you're an ocean kind of gal, I thought those were kind of cute little extras. And then let me just get the tissue paper out. And as expected, we have a lot of beautiful blues in here. I was kind of expecting a little bit more like deep blues, you know, like being very literal, like <laughs> navy blues, but I'm sure we'll get a whole uh, variety of colors. So first we have a blue beaded bracelet set. These are kind of fun because these are like, um, these ones right here are more like a rubber bead, but they kind of have that look of like puka shells. Do you guys remember puka shells? So, but I love that it looks a little bit more luxe because those, those gold beads every once in a while. And this is one of those more classic uh, crystal beads. I will say, I remember when I was in college, so this is like a good 20 years ago, um, these beads were like really, really popular and you just wear them all stacked up and it looked really cool, but I love some fun beachy jewelry. I'm really bad about accessorizing when I'm on vacation. Like, 
I have all these things that would look great with my beautiful caftans and my easy breezy sundresses and I'm always really bad about actually accessorizing but I need to just start like doing a little pouch with my beach accessories and looking a little cooler but then you have to be careful that you don't get tan lines right so but these are super duper fun I might take these on my next um it's not really a beach vacation but I'm doing a little bit of a um like a pool vacation. I see some fancy cocktails in my future and this would be really fun by the pool. So, all right, so the item that we have, uh, Lani Makana item. So really we got two jewelry items, both fun. These are actually really cute. She's been doing a lot of clay designs and these are these cute clay earrings. So they're sort of articulated, right? So they're in three pieces. So they have a little bit of movement and they're nice and chunky. I think those are really fun. I know a lot of people are really into fishing. I've never really been into sport fishing. I do love fish. I do love sushi. You guys, let's actually have a secret password while we're at it. So when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. Please do not put it into the comments. You do have to be 18 years or older. You do have to be subscribed to my channel and you do have to have a US or Canadian mailing address. Canadians, I do need a little help with the shipping. I can do flat rate, but it's still a little bit pricier, uh, kind of a lot bit pricier than it is for me here in the US. But I still want you to be to be able to participate of course so our secret password for today is going to be fish in honor of these fun fish earrings those are really fun actually <laughs> i love how they move all right so our secret password for today is fish just as a reminder these pass these secret password giveaways are not affiliated with youtube or any of the boxes that i open here on the channel it is just my way of saying thank you so so much for watching my videos for supporting my videos by watching them in their entirety and listening carefully for those fun secret passwords these are so cute I love those and they look really fun with the bracelets too. All right. Okay. And because they're the clay jewelry, I feel like they'd be really good for, um, for being at the beach and you don't have to worry about them getting too damaged or tarnished or anything. Plus, plus they're very lightweight, which is nice. So you, I know a lot of you have sensitive ears, but at the same time, it's like, sometimes it's the weight that bugs you. In this case, you can have a fun statement, playful earring, but at the same time, it's very light. I can barely even tell that I have them on. All right, ooh, this is nice. I've actually been needing another one of these, and a lot of the times when we get headbands, they're just a little too loud for me. This one is really, really soft, and I'm not generally like a tie-dye gal, but like this one's really pretty. It's got a little bit of blue in it, but it's mostly like grays and stuff. And sometimes it's just nice to keep the flyaways away, especially when I'm doing like yoga and stuff and uh, or hiking. I do like to wear a nice soft headband like this when hiking and you can do them with like kind of open it up so it almost looks like a handkerchief or of course you can have it be a little bit skinnier like this so I do like to kind of open them up I also have some girlfriends who have like big curly hair and man they can rock these and look so cute but I like the color on these on this one so this is a ocean tie-dye headband I bet there was some variation I bet some of you got different colors let me know in the comments below what color you got Oh, I'm, t I'm taking this on my vacations. It's really nice. It's, and even if you don't like wear it out, if it's a little too hippie boho for you, great for when you're taking off your makeup or putting on your makeup. Super good. All right, we have a little shelf sitter is what I like to call them. Uh, a little um, decor. Mine got a little bit chipped in the corner, but I feel like that just kind of adds to the rusticness of it. So this is always cute, right? Seize the day. So we have a little seize the day mini block sign here by Kalia Lane or Kalia Lane by Claremont and Company. All right, so I don't know how that works, <laughs> like what kind of collab that was. But of course it can just sit by itself. It can be a gift topper. It's a good little reminder to seize the day and maybe take the afternoon off and head to the beach. We also, we usually do get like, this is very much a lifestyle box, right? Very much a lifestyle box. So we usually get some self care in here, some like beauty stuff. This time we got from Spa Life, a six pack. So a total of 12, right? Cause they come in pairs. Uh, hydrating under eye mask with hyaluronic acid and aloe. It's a two in one formula. So you guys know I love these. You leave them on for about 15 to 20 minutes. I've noticed that it really helps me in the morning, just feel a little bit more put together. Remove and discard, uh, it's just one time use only, of course, and you can add, um, rub in the excess serum, just like you would on a full sheet mask. But let's see, let's see if I can find what they look like. They're individually wrapped, which is nice. 
Oh, these are kind of fun. It's like <laughs> fancy football player under eye masks. So you can do that. I think that's cool. All right. I wonder, I wonder you guys, do you put the like narrower part under your eye or do you put the thicker part under your eye? Because you could, you could argue for both. I usually put the narrower part under my the inside corner and do the thicker part on the outside. But I think you could do either way, wherever you need more hydration. But that's how I do it. Thinner part on the inside corner. All right, we got that. And then I th that's a lot of stuff. So we've gotten the earrings, the bracelet set, the mini block sign, the eye masks, the headband. So that was already five items and there's still one more item. And don't forget, we got those cute little stickers. This is adorable. Oh, it's a wet bag. It's a under the sea wet bag and we've got turtles. Though so there's kind of a turtle theme going on in this in this box too. Well, I guess we had a fish, fish earrings, turtle stickers, but now we have this fun turtle wet bag. So love that and this little loop here, I think that unsnaps. So that's kind of cool because you can snap that onto the outside of your bag. That's awesome. And then we have this zipper here. And then yes, the inside of it has this different kind of material lining. So you can put your wet things in there. It says happy flute, use stuff pocket with insert and fasten onto baby. Oh, <laughs> and maybe it's for babies. It says and fasten onto baby with Velcro or snaps. Care, knock solids into the toilet. Oh, I think you could use it as like a diaper bag, like you know, to get rid of that kind of stuff. Happy flute, interesting. But you can wash it, which is great. Store in dry, uh, cold machine, soak, cold rinse, tumble dry, so you can, li or line dry. Huh, knock solids into toilet. So yes, I think it's for like your dirty diapers and making sure that it doesn't get into anything. Stuff pocket with insert and fasten onto baby. Stuff pocket with insert and fasten onto baby. I don't understand those instructions. Anyway, I'm thinking what I would be using it for, since I don't have a baby or any dirty diapers to make sure they'll get on the rest of my stuff, is just your wet swimsuits or shoes. It could be a good shoe bag too. It's like long enough for the, your flip flops uh, to protect everything. That's what I would probably use it for. Um, but yeah, sometimes on your vacation, you know, your flight's not until like two in the afternoon and you really want to take advantage until you check out of the hotel. So you might not, you know, be able to really wring out everything and dry everything. So give it a quick rinse and then just put those damp swimsuits into this bag and then throw it into your suitcase or your carry-on and then everything is protected. So I would assume it's like watertight. I'll have to give it a try though because it really does feel like regular fabric on the outside and it just feels kind of satiny on the inside, this under the sea wet bag. But yeah, I do I do feel like it's got to got that like plasticiness to it, almost like a like a mattress protector. So maybe maybe it is. Huh, but I, if I hadn't known, if I hadn't read the tag, I wouldn't have like gotten confused by all the like baby baby suggestions but yeah it does really sound like it's for um dirty diapers stuff pocket with insert and fasten in onto baby with velcro or snaps i guess you could fasten it onto your baby <laughs> be like here you hold this <laughs> i don't know you guys all right I'm gonna use it as a wet bag because it's super cute and it folds nice and flat and it's easy to put into your beach bag and just have it with you. Okay, so it's also great wet bags, not only for your wet things, but you can also protect important things that you don't want to get wet at the beach or the pool. So any like electronics, for example, that's a good place to store things so that they don't get wet because it works both ways, right? In terms of the moisture getting out or the moisture getting in. Okay, so we got our clayfish earrings. They are adorable. They look really cute with like a white sundress so you could really see the fish. We got our blue beaded bracelet set. I honestly kind of might be my favorite thing. Our under the sea wet bag with some cute honus on it. Our seize the day mini block sign. Not my usual kind of decor, but it's cute and small. Our hydrating under eye masks. We got a set of uh, six pairs in here, I believe. Did I say six pairs? Yes, six pairs. And then we also got our ocean tie dye headband. I think this is my favorite item just because I needed a new headband like this and that one feels super soft. And then don't forget we got our little bonus stickers inside as well. So 
If you got to this point in the video, you guys, there was a secret password. Make sure you go back and watch the video to find that secret password to enter to win a mystery box from yours truly. I use a random number picker about five days into the following month. So I always give you five days into the next month to kind of catch up on your videos, find all the secret passwords. There's usually like 10 to 15 secret passwords a month. It just kind of depends. Uh, but there's not secret passwords in every video. So if you feel like you didn't hear one, it's probably good, a good chance there wasn't one. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please help me out with a thumbs up. Let me know what you think might be in the next curation from Ohana Beach Box in the Tropical Vacation Box. What do you envision? Let's, let's see how many of you are psychic with your box curations. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.